It was a gorgeous Sunday earlier, that's for sure. But then, you know, when I left for dinner, some sprinkles were coming down, a mm. little cloudy out there. So something that you're keeping an eye on, huh? Yeah, we're transitioning from a sunny Sunday to the not so moony Monday, but the <laughs> rainy Monday. I was going to do something yeah, there, but I kind of just close. Ended up, eh, it works. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we really are we're transitioning from a pretty nice Sunday we had to a little bit more of the rain. And as Melissa said, a little bit of sprinkles. I encountered some of my own. When I was out getting some shopping done. Now, of course, we are really mainly just looking at a lot of this clutter. That's actually what's a lot of that's actually what's on this radar. You can see most of this not really moving. It's actually just a lot of what we call just radar clutter kind of things interfering. But we can still see it literally be these showers, uh, heavier showers out toward Cassopolis, just to the north of Cass County. So there is some rain out there, and it's going to be bringing us in again. You know, for the rest of our evening to our overnight, we could see a sprinkle here or there, but don't expect a big washout for today. But that comes later. Temperature is currently between the mid to upper 60s. This is about where we'll be as we head into our overnight. Temperatures might drop a few more degrees, but beyond that, not so much. As we head into our overnight, those temperatures, again, it's really only going to be in those mid 60s. If you're waking up on that 7 a.m. time frame, it's going to be a little on the cloudy side for a lot of you kids coming in for your first full week of school, but we're also looking at rain chances on the increase as we get into the second half of our day. That's the real thing we're paying close attention to. Is not what we're seeing for tonight, but for tomorrow. Again, temperatures in those low 60s. Got easterly winds really filtering in. There's the rain already starting to push through. Now these aren't really super concerning. This is as the frontal system starts moving in. The low pressure makes its way into our area. You can see this large uh, mass of that rain moving in as we head into afternoon. Temperatures only in the mid 70s, so we're not really expecting big severe weather threat for today, for our Monday. You can see again, there's that big band of rain. Could see a good a little bit of some storms and rain out of it as well. But again, you can see as it moves out, you can see that large uh, ba uh, large band just kind of moving in that counterclockwise clockwise rotation and again you can see a little more of that wraparound moisture is what we call it so we could be waking up on our Tuesday morning with a little bit of rain as well but again not expecting anything severe just a little bit of that possibility of maybe some of those heavier downpours so beyond that not really expecting hail or severe winds but you can never really you know never say no to just one or two of those storms trying to get to that severe limit so it still remains unlikely but we could still get a decent amount of rain out of it but I'm going to go from one extreme to the other because we're going to be in nice and comfortable as we get into this Wednesday, uh, next few days actually, with temperatures at or below average. That heat dome kind of doing this thing called retrograding, moving off to the west. Well, it's going to rebound. It's going to come back to our region as we get into the last little bit of our work week and into our weekend. That Sunday, this is next Sunday, so a week from now, we're going to be sitting underneath this heat dome and it's going to start planting itself in our region as we get into our next work week. So things are looking pretty toasty as we get on the last little bit of the 10 day forecast. So handful of rain chances for the next several days. Looking really good for those rain chances on Monday. Again, lingering rain showers on that Tuesday morning. Temperatures remaining far below average in those mid 70s. We'll start getting these temperatures up toward average on that Thursday with a good rain chance, possibly going to be seeing a little system moving through. It's only going to really stall out the warming because after we get into our weekend, there it is. Temperatures really getting warm into the upper 80s. A little bit of a rain chance on that next Monday. That could try to dampen it down a little bit by the time we hit into our next work week, the middle of next work week. Temperatures are already rebounding back into the upper 80s. So things will be getting pretty toasty as we head into our next weekend. I would say plan for a beach weather weekend because no rain chances.